We're jumping into the NFC North. Last year, this is the rundown, okay? The Minnesota Vikings, the Detroit Lions, the Green Bay Packers, and the Chicago Bears. Let's start off with Minnesota. Last year, they went 13-3. and Over under this year is 10. To win the division, they are plus 110. I love those odds. I really like those odds. They signed Kirk Cousins. That's it. You sound like you want to say something. Or you look nope. like you want to say something. Nope. You're just like, nope. like plus 110. You're going, what in the hell? Nope. Like, what? You know. I'm in. Uh, so they signed Kirk Cousins. That's good. Like that's That should be an upgrade, right, over Case Keenum. Um, they drafted UCF cornerback Mike Hughes in the first round. This is a team that basically had everything lined up other than quarterback. Well, running back went down middle of the season. Yeah, but Dalvin Cook should be back. Oh, no. He's going to be back, and he looks really good. Yeah, he'll, he'll be back. with. So I, that's actually my next note. Dalvin Cook back from an ACL. Uh, they were first in total defense. They only lost one player off that defense last year. That's amazing in today's I, salary cap era. Like, I, that's unbelievable. I like this team, man. I, I know. Oh, here's, here's the other, my last note. Go ahead. New offensive coordinator. Yeah. John DeFilippo. Did I say that right? Yep. You said that right. Eagles quarterback. I was going to say. He's the, he, the, what, what do you make of him? I have no idea. I have no idea because he didn't call the plays. He didn't design the offense. He learned under a guy that did, though. So maybe we could see some RPOs from Kirk Cousins. I don't really know. Um, I don't know that it matters. Probably not. I think this team. <laughs> I don't think so. Is good. So we have. It's kind of been like talked about all over all the sports talk where the NFC is loaded and the AFC is weak. There's some truth to that. I think the NFC is substantially better than the AFC overall. Yeah. I don't know that I would say they're loaded. I think the two teams at the top of the NFC are so much better than everybody else. Last week, I was all over the Saints. I got them winning this whole thing, the conference, making the Super Bowl. If if it ain't the Saints, it's the Vikings. This is this you is love one the of, Vikings. This is one of the best teams in the country. I got them going 13 and three. If they went, you know, fourteen and two, it would not shock me. I think they're really, really good. I think they are going to beat people up defensively. I have them twelve and four, so we are we're pretty, really close. pretty close, really close. Um, my losses, just so that you guys can absolutely trash talk me on YouTube and on the podcast and whatnot. I've got them losing at Green Bay. I got them losing at the Rams. I've got them losing at New England and at Seattle. And look. That's a win at Philly. That's a win, you know, at all these, whatever. Like, I like the team a lot. I like them too. Like, 12-4 and four is still a fantastic oh, record. Oh, yeah. No, that's a, that's a big boy NFL yeah. season, man. I mean, we're – and I've got them uh, winning the division. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think, think that's. I don't close. think it's close. Man. The fact I that really it's don't. plus one ten just blows my I, mind. It's the Aaron Rodgers effect, dude. It is just people. I, uh, look, all right. Let's take a, this. Take away my dislike for Aaron Rodgers. He's really good at football. Yeah, he's he a great is, quarterback. He is one dude, and the rest of that team not great. I I agree. Not great at all. There are nobody else on that team that scares you. There's no possible way a complete team like Minnesota should be beaten throughout the course of a season by Green Bay. Yeah. And and Mike Zimmer, Mike Zimmer, he's in the conversation as top three, four head coaches in all of football. Yeah. I, I agree with that. I agree. Um, so we have both got uh, – so you got them 13-3, and three, I got them 12-4. and four. Yeah. Uh, It wouldn't surprise us to see up to 14 wins. Like 11 wins would be a little shocking maybe. Uh, the over under at ten is just uh, yeah I don't see that just bananas I, I just can't, don't understand can't do especially it. when that defense didn't really lose anybody no like, I, I just don't get it and they're getting Dalvin Cook back they will run the football better than they did last year which means more time coming off the clock play good defense run the football in the NFL you go to win games they upgrade like I, the ten and, is because oh, the schedule is difficult they, right like they, they absolutely upgrade at quarterback. You were about yes. to say that. They, Upgraded quarterback. Not even close. The, but the the schedule is where like they play at New England, at that's Philadelphia, tough. at the Rams. Right? That all of that all, is, is difficult. All that's hard. Well and in the, in the division, it you're not gonna just sweep your division. Like yeah. I, I actually have them they went, losing they the went game. They went five and one last yeah, year. I actually have them losing the game game in Chicago. 
Like, I think the Bears are going to be better. I think you're going to lose a divisional game. It's on the road. You're, you're going to lose one of those games to Detroit at, at Detroit, at Chicago, at Green Bay. It's just really hard to sweep your division. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Uh, next up, the Detroit Lions. 9-7 and seven last year. Oh, that was such a shocker. They the, fired their coach at 9-7. and seven. That's... Did they fire their coach? Well, oh yeah. yeah, they did because Patricia's came. Yeah. I, I, Matt, my boy, oh, the yeah. beard went nine and seven. They're over under this year seven and a half to win the division. They're plus five hundred. Yeah. That is third, third best odds. They drafted a uh, Arkansas center uh, Frank Ragno, Auburn running back Carry On Johnson, Alabama defensive end Deshaun Hand, et cetera, et cetera. New coach Matt Patricia. Obviously, Chris loves him. I'm a Matt big, Patricia guy. Big Pats fan. Well, uh, he was the beard. Yeah. They signed running back LeGarrette Blunt. Hey, how many teams do you think LeGarrette Blunt has been on? Four. Five. Five. This is fifth. Tennessee. I forgot about the Titans. The team he started yep. with. Yep. So he is now on uh, his fifth team. Yep. Um, his his biggest was with the Eagles last year. Uh, no. That's. No. I understand no. you're talking about New England and whatnot, no, no, but no, like but with the, the Eagles, he's like he he won another championship last but, year. Hang on. With the Patriots, the year he won a championship with them, he also scored 18 touchdowns that year. Go back. And 18 look at touchdowns? 18. That cannot be right. That cannot be right. It's There's not possible no for way. You to be wrong twice in one night. There's no way at all. Either way, uh, quarterback Matt Stafford, he has started 112 games. That is third most active. Um, rushing was 32nd in the league last year with Theo Riddick and Amir Abdullah. Win got some RBs. Yep. They added Blunt, uh, Blunt and they added uh, Carryon Johnson. And boosted the offensive line. And boosted the offensive line. Secondary had 19 interceptions. Good gracious, he did actually have. Hang what on. year was that? It was 2016. The year we won the Super Bowl. He had 18 touchdowns. I'm telling you, man. God. Don't don't ever say. Does that include his, the pro, uh, the postseason? Yeah, it's season. Okay, okay but it doesn't no. matter. It doesn't no, matter. I'm with you. I'm oh, with you. I was, extra games. I was looking at fantasy stuff eight, the other day, and I was eight like, eighteen TDs, bro. Every other year was like six, five, three, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, the line. Back to the lines. Go ahead. The secondary had 19 interceptions last year. Yeah, they were very uh, opportunistic. Well, but a lot of that is and it won a lot got, of games. They got to they got to play against the Browns. Sean Kaiser threw a bunch of those. Yep. They got to play twice against uh, Hunley. I think with Green Bay. I don't think they had to play Aaron Rodgers. That's that's a free couple of that's a good couple point. Of INTs. They played some bad co- last year. There was some really bad quarterback yeah. play in the NFL. Their schedule this year does not set up nicely. I, I like this division. I, I I don't think they're going to do well. What was the over under again? Over under was seven and a half. I think they're going under. I got them five and eleven. I got them six and, and ten. And I hate it for my boy Matt, but well, look, the first year, try right. give him a little bit of time. Give him a little bit of time because I, this you won't have this schedule all the time. The only reason they play I've the got Rams, them. they play the Panthers, they play. Uh, uh, of course, Green Bay twice. They play at Dallas. They play New England. They play at San Francisco. Like, this yeah. is tough. No, it's a tough. It's a tough schedule. I, uh, I think this division's good. I've got a team in here that's going to surprise us. Let's move on to. Let's move, uh, on. Let's move on to the next one. All Green right. Bay Packers. Last year went seven and nine. Aaron Rodgers was out for freaking the, ever. almost the entire season, uh, and there, then he sat at the end because it wasn't no reason. There was no him. reason for him to play. Uh, over under is ten this year. That's the Aaron Rodgers. The effect. same as freaking Minnesota. Uh, that's, that's that's the Aaron Rodgers effect. The division, like to win the division, they were plus one ten. They signed the tight same end as, Jimmy same Graham. As Minnesota. They drafted and now look, this they did exactly what they needed to do in the draft, right? They uh, drafted Louisville cornerback uh, Jair Alexander, Iowa cornerback Josh Jackson, Missouri wide receiver Jamon Moore, uh, Alabama punter J.K. Uh, J.K. Scott. And I know that that sounds funny, <laughs> but they drafted a punter in the fifth round and immediately cut their starting punter from like the last two seasons. That's because you don't draft punters. If you're going to use a fifth round pick on one, you yeah. cannot keep two on the roster. No, you're right. You're right. They uh they they needed help in the secondary, and they needed help at wide receiver. You know how I feel about college cornerbacks, though. I know. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. Like, like literally, those two guys could be perennial pro bowlers or they could be out of the league next year. Yeah, it's entirely possible. But they but they did what they needed to do, right? you you got to go out. you, you got to try and better You could have signed cornerbacks that are legit. Yes. You could have paid Malcolm Butler. 
and not drafted a rookie. I, I think that's what I would have done. I mean, I'm with you, but I'm I with just, you. I, I feel differently about cornerback. They uh, they lost Jordy Nelson, who is Aaron Rodgers' favorite dude. Uh, kind of pissed Aaron Rodgers off about that too. Yeah, they were a little irritated, or he yeah. seemed a little irritated. I mean, he's kind of seems a little chapped all the time. He's though. he's kind of pissed off about uh, these new wide receivers too. You he see that? Yeah, he doesn't seem to ever like anything. So he's he's not a fan of his team right now. The uh, the defense dealt with a ton of injuries last year. Uh, they need Wilkerson and Ha Ha Clinton Dix to be leaders in that secondary and to stay healthy. Yeah, and to stay healthy. By God. Uh, I do like Aaron Rodgers. I think that he's one of those guys that will just make players better, everybody better. If he plays 16 games, they should win 10. That's exactly what I got him at. I got him at 10 and 6. I got him at 9 and 7, and I don't see him playing 16 games. You, you might be right. And, and, and here's the thing. I'm one game less than you, and that's what I think they'll do if he plays all 16. Yeah. I, I mean, think that, this look, team's going to – I think he's – they're going to go – and. and, and Mark my word. Here's the thing. They picked up Kaiser Soso, Sean Kaiser, okay? <laughs> I know. I and I, think, in and the I think right now in the preseason, he's their number two. If if he goes down. How is ten, he the number two? Who, where, did, where did Hunley go? Hunley's still there. Hunley, I, and they're saying that Kaiser beat out I, Hunley? No, it's, we've just got two preseason games, but Kaiser started with the twos and Hunley finished the game. Um, that, that's just been. I think that's up in the air, but that's. That might be two of the worst quarterbacks to ever start multiple games in the NFL, and they're both in that quarterback room. Yeah. That's garbage. If he goes down, they don't win five games. The The Packers' schedule, their road schedule is difficult, right? So Correct. San Francisco comes into Green right. Bay. Yeah. But look, they play – at the Redskins, and who knows what the Redskins are going to be? Yeah, no clue. Uh, I don't like them, but that, I mean that doesn't they mean got, they can't they be good. They got two games back to back that are brutal. They they, get a home at the game. Rams, and then at uh, New England. Yeah, yes. and then they play at Seattle and at Minnesota and back to back. Yeah, that was about to say they got a home game against Miami, and then they got Seattle and Minnesota back to back. That is a five game stretch. Yeah, they might lose all five of those just because you can't beat Miami because those other teams have just beat up on you. It's entirely possible. I mean, that's brutal. It's it's rough. Now they, I do. I've got them better, at ten and six. They are a better team than Seattle, but going to Seattle is just always a weird thing. And for some reason, Green Bay just cannot beat them. Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm saying. Like especially in Seattle. Yeah, uh, I've got them ten and six. You got them nine and seven. Might be good enough for a wild card. We'll see what happens. Uh, finally, the Chicago Bears. I like this team. I don't. I, I God. I don't know why. And it's not the Eagles uh, hype, the Andy Reid coaching tree hype. It, it's. I like this team. I'm not a fan. All right, we're, we're different. They went five and eleven last year. Over under six and a half. They were plus five eighty to win the division. Here's who they drafted. They drafted uh, Roquan Smith. They finally got him signed out of Georgia. Uh, I think he will be a difference maker. I like Memphis wide receiver Anthony Miller. Uh, Georgia wide receiver Javon Wims has been lighting it up in preseason, so that's good, right? I, like, I he was a seventh round pick, and they finally like they found a play, like our player. I, they find Allen Robinson. Both those running backs are studs. The offensive line is not great, that's, but they're good. That's where I was actually getting it. So they signed uh, on on the edge, so defensive end linebacker, whatever you want to put him at, Aaron Lynch, yep. uh, Chase Daniels, yeah. backup quarterback, uh, Taylor Gabriel from Atlanta. Uh, Trey Burton from the Eagles, Allen Robinson from Love. the Jags, new coach Matt Nate. Is it Nagy or Nagy? Nagy. I've heard two different uh, pronunciations. I'm not, I'm not calling that G. That okay, J. Nagy. That's a like Nagy. I'm calling it Nagy. Okay, Nagy. Got it. What's, what's that Chiefs offensive coordinator. That's his mama. Yeah, he he is. He, well, he and Andy Reid made Alex Smith the most efficient quarterback. In the NFL yeah. last year, if it wasn't for Tom Brady and Carson Wentz getting hurt, like he's the he's a legit MVP candidate yeah, last year. It's crazy. They uh, they had no Pro Bowlers on D, but they finished uh, in the top ten in total defense. Um, look, I like Mitch team. Trubisky. No, look, I'm not. Look. He started twelve games last year. His uh, his average QBR was seventy seven point five. He had seven interceptions, seven touchdowns. Uh, running back is strong. I mean, Jordan Howard and uh, Tariq Cohen, like that running back is really strong. But man, let me tell you, let me tell you what I think. I about think this they're team. still like a year away. Let me tell you what I think about this team. Okay, I think, and it's not necessarily this team. 
every year there's a team that goes from worst to first. Okay, not saying it's this team because the Vikings are just too good. But I think um, offensively, they've got all the pieces that they need. I think I don't trust Trubisky a lot, but it is easier today to play quarterback in the NFL than it has ever been. I, oh, you're right. You're I, right. I think the playmakers they went out and got, I think Anthony Miller is going to be the steal of the draft. I think he's going to be the best receiver that got drafted in this class. I think this is going to be a really good Why hasn't he played class. much in the preseason? And and Do they think he just doesn't need to? I don't, I don't know, man. I have not figured that I, out. I, I really like him a lot, and I promise you that's not homerism. I think this kid is going to – catch everything um i think they've got so many versatile weapons if they run rpos one thing that people don't think about with trubisky is he is mobile he is yeah. he's alex smith mobile you don't think about him picking you apart passing wise but when he gets out on the edge and he can dump it off to a running back who two great athletic running yeah backs, they do they got or, speed they got or size one of and... these three crazy athletic receivers or Trey Burton, super athletic, versatile quarterback. Well, tight end. I, tight end, yeah. sorry. Played quarterback in college. <laughs> yeah, he did. Going to be throwing some balls to Mitch Trubisky. Going to be doing the Philly special to Mitch Trubisky. That that play is in the playbook right now, guaranteed. I think this team – Or something similar to it, anyway. I got them going I got them going 10 and 6. I think they're going to win God. 10 games. God, I know that's crazy. I know that's 10 I, and 6. When I say it out loud, look, I don't look at the numbers. I'm, I'm looking at the I look schedule. At the schedule. Going, what I look are I you look at the schedule about? and I just pick games I think they're going to win and I pick games I think they're going to lose and then I count them up and I just trust the math works. 10 and 6. I know it's crazy. I didn't like it when I did it. I even changed it to 9 and 7 we because are as, I just didn't think about it. I think we are as far apart on this as we were with the Giants. I've got these guys four and twelve. Now let me tell you something. I'm I'm leaning more towards your way of thinking than I was mine. I just first year coach. I still don't. I think Trubisky like it's going to take a little I, bit of time. Trubisky's the like, least favorite part about this team that I like. But I think a, you can play quarterback in the, the defense, NFL right I now. I still think the chemistry, like they, they got to get this defense put together. They drafted, I don't think Roquan Smith is going to come in and immediately just be like. Pro Bowl, I th- All no, Pro, I think, everything. I think he's going to be. The I best. think he'll be great. He's going to be the best player in defense. If he's, he's the best be, player on the defense, then they got problems. He's going to. He's going to be. No, he's not. And he's going to be the. He's going to be the best rookie in this draft. <laughs> said, no, he's not. He's going to be the best rookie in this draft, top to bottom. He's going to be it. It's, I think they need more people. They they brought in some good they veterans, might. They right? Might. I'm I, I've been wrong before, and I'm not afraid of saying Ooh, I'm a little God. crazy here. That's not my crazy that pick is of the night. But bananas, man. Absolutely bananas. Ten. Ten. All right, I got them four and twelve. I got them going under the six and a half. Uh, so we we both like the Vikings. We both. I love the Vikings. And and I got the the Packers in the wild card. But but I don't you have the seem to the think the Bears card. are going to be uh, uh, the wild card here. Bears might not make a wild card with ten and six, but Whew. I like the Bears. All right, all right. Let's move on. <laughs> 